positioned or how they've selected the agent roster as the pistol round begins. Berserk's almost taken down to Spencer, but there is so many stuff happening on mid already. You have to back away for a moment, but Alter Ego seems to be at the forefront or actually at the back seat here as Bren is getting all the picks that they are actually looking for. Yeah, the mid-aggression denied there by Bren, and they're going to find one after the other, leaving Fat Penguin wondering where the hell his teammates have waddled off to. It's still a 1v4 as Frenzy in hand. Going to be able to get a pick onto one, but no bullets in hand. But Dubstep, he's got the Phantom from last round. He's going to be carrying it over here, and he's going to be looking to be the entry. They spot out one. Dubstep does not get the entry after a good paranoia. But the trade frag right here is good as Dispenser is able to lock down onto Fat Penguin. The trade as well. Borkum is able to get that kill onto Nazlaran. That's already two rifles down here. C site secured and the double flank coming in from long. Tapital is going to be the only one on spawn here. He might have a flash that can allow the two duelists to come in hard on long. But this is 4v3. Make that a 4v2. They are going to be just... Well, walking their way through the ramps, walking their way downtown, moving fast, faces past, and he's going to be homebound. Elmi Moore gets a headshot. That's going to be a good start. Followed up by Berserk. They're blinded, though, and what's trying to capitalize has to go back around. Well, that's going to be Jesse Bash in the back of the side. Has to go for the dash in, and they synchronize beautifully to get that re going on C because they know that there is not really much value for them to just hold the flanks. But now it might be because they know that there's oh. going to be something a little bit aggressive on a main. They betted for it. They knew it was going to be coming, and it happened. Tapital is going to be close on the encounter, which he does get one. But Jesse Bash immediately goes for the trade. This leaves us into the two towards the score, but Natsalan will try to equalize. The problem was, was caught right out in the open, and oh no. Yeah, that Penguin should uh, not uh, be killed. Okay, but he's down to th Going to be another save round here from Alter Ego. It's looking like an economic complete re- uh, Some nice little chops, choice cuts of the members of Brent, if he has um, the opportunity to do so. But Borkum and Dubstep, the dub- Instigates that rotate. Um, towards that A site. This is something they can very well take here. And with that ultimate, that from the shadows, this gives them such a big opportunity to cut off the rotation. Nasselrant is going to get caught off, looking completely the wrong way here. Three kills already for Borkum. And it could be Borkum time this early on. Looking for an ace very, very early in the game. Round number five. Round five ace. Looks like it's going to be the deal. Yeah, five kills for Borkum. Not if they're not Near close enough. enough. So they yeah. have to look at it. Exactly. You, you make a fantastic point there, Asurai. Um, and having a lurker and making those plays like that, give, getting that confidence to be able to read the opponent's defense and just sneak by, that's massive for any lurker right here. And with another two picks at the very start here from Brent, they're looking rock oh no. solid on their offense. It, it seems like Alter Ego just can't find the shots that they're used to. Okay, that's a double lineup. Here we go, Natsal Rant with three kills! Just when it's absolutely massive, they know his position right now, with 30 HP, he cannot heal himself. They won't go for the challenge. Instead, you rotate there towards A. You're gonna smoke off the angle and hope to catch any catch, catch Nazlarant off in rotation right now. But the aggressive swing will their ego to decide how they want to approach this defensive half. Or will be able to just about get it, I think. But the execution on C is gonna be inevitable. We're going to head on over to it. Jesse Vash, shop dart right there. Doesn't check the close corner, but Jesse Bash will pick up the slack and Borkum will be there to follow right after. Elmi Mark, one of the best one players with that goal. Sheriff in his hand. And he what? somehow finds Ten one before he eventually left. drops. Teba Tall might not be remain. checked here. He gets one, bring it to a 1v1, swaps out his gun. And this could be the round here. Borkum's very low. Can he clutch? One second left, not enough time. And Alter Ego, they've stolen a round away. Operator towards that C site. But Ren smells weakness. Off or not, they're going to try and go for it, but it's a Great double kill right there from Berserk as he finds two on the defensive hold here. For and up from Jesse Vash, but finds nothing at the back of the side. It's actually Berserk who's tucked himself right in the corner. And he's just getting everything. These slow peaks from Bren getting punished as soon as it comes in. And he's not done just yet as the 4K comes in for Berserk. Why give him the ace? Why don't oh. you? And there he is. Only have like one on one pair for like three days. And oh. Oh. well, there's one pair of, you know, steely round objects that Berserk has that allows him to hit that. Just the, 
the ability of this man to keep calm under pressure. The one for one trade. But it seems like Bren, they're gonna change the pace once again. They get that good trade enough and they know that the A side is gonna be theirs for the taking. A Phantom Paranoia is gonna be so good. And that opens it up Jesse trade for trade, but it's one versus two. Fat Penguin cannot pick up Teta Ball. And this leaves Fat Penguin to go for it. Not gonna happen. And then trust that whoever's behind them is going to go and get those refrags. That's gonna be the Hunter's Fury deployed from Jesse Vash. This time it's gonna get another one. He just never misses those. Every single time. And dubstep right there with a the follow-up. Tell me more. Good for a trade here, but Borkum's gonna miss another opportunity. The recon darts able to spot out Elmi more, but this is an opportunity for them to fall back, to rotate, and not really hard commit. They will be leaving Dispenser here up in Garage, so this could be an opportunity for him to punish. And in fact, Dispenser does get the catch onto Elmi more, catches him in rotation. Spots one out, but Wits as well will have slowed the pace down just slightly for Bren. Still, they will be able to clear out the site. Bren, uh, Dispenser, left. and Jesse Bash were able to find what they needed to and that's so unfortunate. Sometimes you just have to let the utility be a little bit shy of its positioning or else you're just going to be in a world of hurt and seemingly like that. Spike was planted on default and Jesse back about to swing wide and he times it perfectly. One on one, Natsalan gets spotted by the recon. Not going to be a problem for Jesse Bash as it's just not going to be possible. In any case though, they're going to spread a little bit more utility here and that's what I mean. Again, the reaction time, the speed, and the confidence to hit those shots is just what gives Perserx oh. his lethality. But a little bit of that peak with the Sova drone. Oh, you got baited by Hedgewid. Oh, this is not good, but 4v3 ensues. If you can't out-aim him, might as well outsmart him. That's exactly what Dispenser brought in that one. This is the swing on top of the utility master. <laughs> Gotta enjoy the little things. And extra bullets like that is how they approach towards this one. They've seen Elmi more. They're gonna get the... Not gonna get the entry. The Smith actually is gonna allow him to get away from this corner and this is a very tough battle. The Spencer dropped down to 21. There is a heal. What's gonna be able to heal him up after that suppression fades? And they still have to challenge El Elmi more on 65 HP. Elmi more re-peaking that angle a little bit haphazardly. And this is Borkum with From the Shadows. He's found a lot of success in the last time. He got an ace off of that From the Shadows last time he used it. But can he find the timing Yet again here, as he gets into spawn, does not this time. Stebitol snuffs him out. Big problem that was, he was supposed to be the pinch coming into the C site. Now, all they really have to do is look straight into Garage. And those two angles from Alter Ego should give them that solid. But hold on, Jesse Bash is hitting some nutties. And he has eight seconds to keep the dream alive. He does not know that one is going to be for Jesse Bash with the ace to turn around the one. Come back on upon after they switch sides. Doesn't look like it's going to be the case as Dubstep finds a nice tap. It also does drop the spike, so that's a lot of information here. The double swing here, Dubstep's finding another. Dubstep's found a third and on the pistol he's found magic! And look at this, a moment of brilliance from Dubstep. Can he continue on? And in this symphony, it is going to be Jesse Vat in the rounds and maybe go for this comeback, but it could be difficult. Dubstep still does not have a dash actually, so he can't get away from that one and that's, this could open up the seaside. It actually does here, but there's Borkum towards the back. Doesn't get the timing right. The Spencer does here in Garage, but the trade is immediate. The flash is good. Takes a while, takes a second, but Borkum and Witch, they get the respective kill here. They brought to a 2v2 on their bonus round. They're going to be happy with this regardless of the outcome. But Spike will be making its way. They have secured the B site. They do have a little bit to worry about here as Borkum is right hot on the tail of Tebutal. Jiggle peeks the corner, but low HP on him. He's not going to hard commit. Borkum still managing somehow to be alive to retain possession of his life, but his soul will be siphoned away for now as it's going to be all up to Wits, who has the angle onto one. He knows where one is, and there's information towards backside. He's going to get nothing right now as the weapons, but thankfully for this one, it seems like they will have some, since oh, they, as they will shot. just trade for utilities. Borkum gets absolutely rattled there towards the back of B. I think that was through the smoke as well. Didn't really get a good picture of the shot but still it's an entry nonetheless it weakens the b site significantly nobody really here i mean more in this corner will be tagged up can he get away that's gonna be two shock darts coming his way and swing out alongside it the trade there as well berserks goes for that flash the dash out and swing at the right call dispenser still here however so he can make oh, no. it happen he got he does get spotted out he's in trouble as fat penguin is able to spot the shoulder and it's enough 
to get Bren in a very, very bad spot and Alter Ego a chance at coming back in this game. When he gets that Operator, there's just something different with how Dubstep uses that. In any case here, that's going to be... But he does top off Berserks. And if there's any player you want at full HP, it's got to be him, especially after he finds that opening frag. Dubstep getting flashed out, gets the timing and dashes away, fully blind Dubstep, disgusting shot right there as he gets out of dodge and goes back into B, but he's looking for more. He knows that his team needs him to step up massive and he does, Whoa! he finds another headshot close, who expects an operator to push like that here? Now he's getting close, that's gonna be another, three kills for Dubstep, blades out, blades are enough, but it's Jesse Fash to follow up, and in this round it is yet again Dubstep who is the maestro of doom, Bren will find match point off a maid on sewer and a main yeah this it this is a oh nice shot right there from berserks manages to dash on through spots the head but oh misses all the rest of the blades jesse bash gets one but he goes down shortly thereafter dubstep it's gonna be naded out okay it doesn't take a lot of damage actually so regardless it's fat penguin who will be taking that kill onto dispenser and look at this still hope currently for Alter Ego as they look to bring things to 12 to 6. Dubstep no doubt will want to save this operator. I don't think they're going to try to make any more pushes here, but they might try to go and shut down the economy a little bit more of Alter Ego as they will be forced off of it and eventually just sequester the round here up against Alter Ego. Well, put a bow on top of it already. This this round has been gifted by Berserks to the rest of Alter Ego. Yeah, he did not get the secondary kill onto Jesse Vash, but that initial on Wits when he had his back turned really opened up the entirety of the site, made it very ego. And all they're looking for now is the cherry on top. That final piece for the PS de Resistance as Berserks is able to get that opening pick right there onto Jesse Vash, though this will allow them an avenue into the A site. But there are still two players holding on to it. Berserks will get in. And Elmi Moore will find the follow-up. Great set of entries right there. Alter Ego. They managed to buy themselves. They got a little bit of a buy-in here into this game. That's Berserks finding a third. And Dispenser getting that shut down. But he's all alone here. He might just take the Operator and run for the hills here. Especially after he probably will get chased off into Oblivion. But how far will they go? Into the Abyss they look. Dispenser looking right back at them. And he finds the third. He no! finds the fourth. Almost does it, Dispenser. More than enough for them. Or fair enough for them. Oh, yeah. This time they're going to be forcing an eco here. Dubstep has money. He's going to go for it. He's got... He's... Um, oh, no. He dropped Mr. the Warbucks right now. Give me a pick off right there. As they actually get one in their favor, Berserks is in hot water, he doesn't get out of it, and he boils right there as Dubstep finds another! Bren, they're stealing these rounds, they have no business winning these, but Elmi Moore is right there to bring equilibrium! Find a balance in the midst of the chaos! Oh no! In the chaos is their order, it's a 1v1 here, but is it gonna be yet again Borkum time? No, it's Tebatol! As he didn't- Where the hell have Bren been pulling out these kills? Well, Borkum wanted to go for his time, but it was spot out one, close up from above here, but he's gonna be hiding. They don't know that Jesse Vash is ready for the bait and switch. He's gonna run away. But that's a good shot from Jesse Vash. Borkum with a back off. And look at that, the one-two punch, crossfire, bait, switch, swing out, and double kill right there from Bren. As they're gonna look for more, they double down on the aggression here, but it's enough to force Jesse Vash back because he's only onto 10 HP. Only more though, he's crept up here, he's bypassed the smoke. Oh, he will be spotted out, stunned, rocked, and destroyed here. That's a good trade for Tebatol who finds a double! And Dispenser, can he get the timing? Yes, he does. 1v3, Bren looking for map number one. It's Fat Penguin to stand in their way. But can he prove to be the decisive factor? Low HP on two members of Bren here. Only dubstep with full. Misses the shot. Penguin, he still can't swing this. It's gonna be a recon dart that doesn't connect. Shock dart, excuse me. But dust denied by Teb Buttle Boss. Oh my goodness. Where is these rounds going to? Down to the wire. Again, this is the last hope for these two. No! Oh, duh. What? What? They just walk out there. Dubstep! They're just walking out and killing things. What is this? What are we... This is the pistol round from Ren? No way. Asurai, what on earth is... What are we seeing here? Okay, Elmi Moore. He's got to bring things back. Last bring a little standing. bit more of balance to the universe. But Dubstep's already three kills ahead. He's got three kills in the pistol round. Where... Where... This is, this is something, okay, he gets gravity well too, and that's... That's Laurent, who was just peeking out, 
Oh. With themselves a couple of weapons, a couple of uh, marshals. Oh no, never mind. To yet again steal another eco win away here. They have been very good at them before. But with Borkum just around this corner, will not expect Nats Lorand in the smoke. And that's a free Spectre to be picked up here in this 3v3 dispenser. It's a tag on. Nats Lorand does go down. 26 HP on Berserk. It's going to be a tough round with a Marshall. He gets spotted out around this box here. And it's going to be a nice finish right there onto Wits. From Wits, rather. It's going to be treated out by Tebatol. Still 1v1 and dispense. You can is... flex out a little bit here better. Even okay. if it is just two sides. Oh, 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 oh. more uh, Cold as ice. Oh my goodness. They are just ripping through them, aren't they, Yulu? That took a minute, but in the end, <laughs> okay, Brandy Sports, they're going to... They're gonna go down. Uh, a lot of spicy moments. In any case, Dubset will get flashed away here. He still has a dash, if ever. But he doesn't want that. He doesn't need it! As he's lining all these targets up. Two to one exchange. Well, who got that sail better into their hands? Well, it's um, Ren. Yeah, no chance for heal. Tebatol... Can't really heal yourself there, man. <laughs> it's nice to try. Hopefully, you know, maybe sometimes. But that's what we're at here. We'll be getting a nice opening kick onto Borkum. A site very much in question as the inquisitive push towards a short gives him a very exclamatory statement here as the Spencer only to hold it right now. Good for um, instantly. Melted. Natsalan should be able to hide, but maybe Vash is not going to be privy to that. Get spotted. 1v1 Nats. He's taken away his turret so many times, but he hasn't got punished for it. For the second, no, he will. Oh. Rather unfortunate for Natsalan. He almost. To go into another round here with full utility and full weaponry in their arsenal. Berserks will be spotted out. Almost catching the head. This dubstep will pull out the blade storm. Can't get out. The Spencer's able to bail him out, though. And that's going to be Borkum with another crossbar towards mid, and very good mid control is exchanged for the A site here. But it's still 3v2. They might not expect Fat Penguin, who's already crept up close. A beautiful flash, but still a better response. Oh, no. It's now a 1v4, and he's just dead to rights here. They know. they. There's just no way he gets out of that alive. Right, I just had to, like, message production real quick that I wanted to fight them with Beyblade now that they argued with me. But that is going to be Fat Penguin with an initiate on dubstep. Removing dubstep from the equation here, really a big help because Borkum is the only one left on the A side. But can he anchor properly? Oh. He gets an equalizer trade. That is good because this turns it into three versus three on the retake. But the big thing about this for Alter Ego is that they have the necessary tools to make this into their baby. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Natsalar, how many times has he, been, has he been caught trying to just paste post or plant out his uh, his turret and has been punished for it. Rather unfortunate, but that's going to put it into a 3 versus 3. Yeah. Flash is decent. And it's actually good enough for Dispenser to get one kill, but that gives information on where Fat Penguin is. Can't win that final duel, though, uh, as which will secure the round. Yet again, Bren are going to find themselves. Almost gets punished. Taking out a 30 HP, nowhere for him to run to and heal as Teba Tall gets a great pick onto Borkum and that's a follow up by Berserks. Now that's the A side completely open and left unguarded here but can they re-garrison themselves up here and manage to take it back? Berserks will miss those blades. That's gonna allow him a little bit of upper previous games. And this might, this is fortunately for them, one of those rounds where it will not necessarily be needed or called upon. Well, raining bullets from up above. Jesse Bash gets spotted. That gravity well will keep him actually safe. It sucked him right into cover. He's just gonna pop as many shots as possible. I don't think he's gonna be able to escape this. It's Brandy Sports going up against Alter Ego, but here we go. It's that mid take that Alter Ego love to do. Brandy Sports, they are aware of the possibility, so they go for an aggressive pick towards B main. This opens up avenues for them to hold on to B, but it cuts off their rotation here towards A. Now they have invested two players on it, and Borkham, he's gonna get fully blinded. And somehow he gets bailed out. The crossfire with him and Wit just so dominant. And Borkum yet again finds another. That's Tebatol left all alone. 1v4. He finds a nice follow-up right there. But Jesse Vash. But they still have a minute. So I'm wondering if they're going to maybe go for another. But as soon as they get spotted by the recon dart, they did not stop. But they have to halt as Borkum is the gatekeeper of the A site. Pay my toll or pay with your lives. Natsalrat. He has an operator, but I 
I haven't seen him clutch with this too oh, here. They're just holding on to the utility. Finally, finally we have here the usage of the ultimates from both teams. And that's going to be the Hunter's Fury deployed. Tell me more is good to find the Hunter's Fury kill onto Borkum. That's going to be a response. Hunter's Fury and... They're going to be definitely finding the mark here. There's only a little bit of damage is going to be taken out here. Dubstep will be healed. But the retake, retake does begin here. Lockdown will be used as a counter for this retake. And so will the attacking Can see it? ultimate. Oh, is that going to be enough time though? Let's see if the shot card will actually hit the Killjoy ult because... Well, it will not. And there is a lot of victims Five here. Five players Dubstep. detained! Five Dude, players! They're just going to stick it! Asurai, no way in hell this happened! Okay, okay, we're a little bit back into the reality here. Just for a second, you thought it was gonna happen, but no. Tabotol, he's keeping things alive here. Which is the only one left? He has Seekers. He's gonna pull them out. Looking for the 1v3 here. He's got the shot on. He knows where both of them are, left and right. That's how he swings, but so does Nats Lorant. Dubstep, no hesitation. He just goes straight right onto the site here. Nats Lorant, good hold so far. He's able to get one. Tabotol's good for a trade. But it's still 3v4 right now is Teva Tall. He knows where Dispenser is. Backup is coming and backup and he doesn't need Jeez. because he wins the duel anyway with 9 HP. He comes out on top and that brings us to a 3v3. Low HP still on D Dispenser. At the time, we'll be taking away Dispenser. We'll get one more. Still, how does he find these kills on low HP with the double health setup? Can they deal with it? And it looks like the answer is going to be a yes as Alter Ego finally find a piss out of the server and they have to reconnect him. But now it's all well and good here as we go back into the round. Dubstep, oh, this beautiful is... catch. But it's going to be in the blender they go here. As Nats Loran finds a third kill a. with the turret. Dubstep still raking up those kills. Racking them all in. Is... It's going to be the spike. Not yet going down. Last Dubstep with a backup. Standing. Good trade here. Still a 1v2. Borkum's picked up a weapon. And he's clutched. He's been clutched for his team. Well, he gets spotted out from the behind. Though it doesn't look like it has to reload. And that's going to be... ...tools to be making this possible. I'm looking quickly into the defensive posture of Alter Ego here. They put everything that they have on the short, but smooth. It could try to explode. There is the turret spotted already, but there isn't really an alarm bot here. So Wits, knowing this, has kind of crept himself up all the way through the back. Nats Lorat has to wow. hit a one tap, which he does. And this keeps him still contained at the back of the side, but he has to go in. Speaking Beautiful of going flash. in, Tebatol just <laughs> charges through. Brandy Sports, they have been looking like they're slowing down a little bit here. Definitely are. It's looking quite scary. Elmi Moore, he's looking unhindered, unchallenged. Quick Ooh. shot from Wits will finally take him out. He can actually just jump up, go straight onto spawn where Dubstep is, and go to B. But this actually puts it. has gone short right there. It's a good flash here. And Dubstep could have the timing. Dubstep could get the spot onto Fat Penguin. He lines it up onto one, and this round just might go Bren's way for now. Good double swing out here, but Berserks smoke off one, and he does it. It's not going to break it, they're going to be able to get through, and that's oh. a big problem! They get the detain onto Berserks, he melts away, but the Nano Swarm gives trouble as well, because Elmi Moore, he's got a good hold towards the back of sight. They haven't cleared Tebotol, no. but they do! The turnaround right there! What was that 180 that we just saw? But look at this Fat Penguin on the back of the side. Has to be the Bastion here for his team, but he cannot do it! It's Bren yet again! Or be denied. In any case, Dubstep seems to want to pull the trigger, but takes a full... And a flash right oh. in front of him! The Spencer! Where did that come from? He just dig deep, took a little bit of a breath, and well, there's just two down already for the count. And Dubstep, he's uh yeah, he's just jumping around. He's looking for targets. Last man standing, Penguin. And Penguin at least waddles just a little bit to victory, but the four versus one with everybody knowing his position, his last location. Bren, this much closer, taking one step further to going to Berlin, being the Filipino representative. But they have the- Oh man, how cool would that be on LAN? On like a LAN, and then he did that, and everybody would start like chanting. Beautifully. And we were interrupted slightly by Borgum, but you know what? They're feeling it now. They're feeling it so hard. Six round Here. deficit. Twelve rounds of fight. They have shown that they can make comebacks. But with double swings like this, oh my god, one round away, and they found one kill. Teba Tall to swing from this corner, hiding in this position. He could go absolutely massive, but Dubstep somehow sprays him down, just checking! 3v5! 
Brett are this close to going on through to Berlin. Can they do it? Can they find the decisive blow? It's looking like a yes with up step on three kills. Jesse Vats finds the last, and that's the answer. In match point, as is said by the announcer, AE, they 